Welcome to part two of the analysis of the doggy door uh, using uh, uh, 3D rigid body um, uh, techniques. In part one, we got to the point where we had uh, position vectors for the points of interest, and we had actually expressed the force um, applied by the cable as uh, this unknown tension times this known um, unit vector. Okay, so now we want to find the moments about this point A exerted by the forces um, on the door. And we have basically two forces that don't pass through A, so they're going to exert moments. The first one is the weight, and the second one is F sub C, the force exerted by the cable. So in order to... Um, compute moments for the weight as, well, compute the moment that the weight exerts around point A, we need uh, the relative vector from A to W, and the same for B, to get uh, the moment that the tension in the cable exerts around point A, we need um, R, A, B. So that's the next order of business, is to find those two values. So we'll go to a fresh uh, uh, fresh drawing page. So R A W, this again is the vector from A to W, is R W minus R A. And this is um, uh, R W is one foot I hat plus 0.5 feet k hat, Ra is 0.5 feet k hat, so we subtract that, and we get then that this is just uh, one foot i hat, which if we go back to our picture, uh, we're saying that the distance from here to here is one foot in the x direction, which is good, because that happens to be right. Okay, so let's get um, uh, let's see we'll get uh, R A B again this will be R B minus R A R B is two feet in the I direction and R A again uh, if I subtract it I take minus five feet in the k hat direction. So basically to go from A to B I go um, uh, two feet, well here let's actually show this. I go two feet in the x direction and then half a foot in the negative z direction. Okay so we've got RAW and RAB so let's start computing moments. This is so exciting. Okay so let's get the moment due to the weight. Okay, this moment is R A W cross the weight vector and the weight vector is minus 10 pounds J hat. Okay, so uh, this is again this is the fourth this is the displacement or the position relative position vector so now we need to compute this RAW cross uh, minus 10 pounds. So we can go to Wolfram Alpha. Hope it responds to us. Uh, okay, RAW we decided was 1, comma 0, comma 0 cross, and the weight vector is 0, comma minus 10, comma 0 and we let it chug on that for a minute and it gives us results of uh, 0 i hat plus 0 j hat minus 10 foot pounds k hat so we go back to our oops go back to our uh, drawing here we have so this is minus 10 foot pounds k hat okay that one was pretty easy Okay, so let's get then the moment about A 
due to the cable. So I guess I'll call this m sub c. Now I want to make it clear we're actually taking moments about a and I'm actually subscripting by the uh, component or the value uh, that were that tells us what were uh, what the forces or what's generating the forces that we're uh, computing for these moments. Um, this is probably not the right notation. This looks like the moment about point C and the moment about point W, and I don't mean to imply that. This is the moment at about point A generated by the weight. This is the moment about point A generated by the cable. So uh, with that proviso, we have then that this is R A B cross uh, the force in the cable. And so this is going to be um, R A B is uh, 2 feet I hat minus 0.5 feet K hat cross FC, that's the force in the cable, it'll be the tension T times uh, this whole unit vector, which is um, minus point uh, four six nine I hat plus point six two five J hat minus point six two five K hat. Okay. And this constant t, I can factor out of the cross product. This guy here, I can put out here. So um, the moment uh, generated by the cable C about A will be t times the cross product of this vector and this vector. So let's go to alpha and see what we've got here. Um, RAB is uh, 2 comma 0 comma minus 0.5 and uh, lambda hat um, CB, I think it's BC, lambda hat BC is minus 0.469 and minus 0.625. Okay, and that gives me then this cross product is 0.3125, which I'll round to 0 0.313, 0 0.1485, and 0.125. So let's go back here. So this is going to be T times point three one three feet I hat plus one point four eight five feet J hat plus one point two five feet K hat. Okay. So this is uh, again the moment about um, the point A generated by the cable. Okay. Well, now we're actually in a position to do some solving of stuff. This is starting to get kind of exciting here. So let's look at the idea that the summation of all the moments about point A is zero. Okay. So we have, this says that um, MW plus MC plus uh, the couples that are applied by the hinge to the door are M A, whoops, M -A -X I hat plus M A Y J hat and these guys all equal to zero. Okay, so uh, let's see, M W is minus 10 foot-pounds K hat plus MC that's going to be T times 0.313 feet I hat 
plus t times 1.485 feet j hat plus t times 1.25 feet k hat plus m a x i hat plus m a y j hat and that's all equal to zero. Okay. Oh. Well, let's see. Let's um, take this equation, and uh, since this is the thing that we're really interested in right now, we'll move it up here, and we'll get rid of all this other stuff, give ourselves lots of room to work. Okay, so we now actually have three equations because we have an equation for each component of the vector here. So let's see, let's do the x component in yellow. So one part of the x component is this guy. We have t times 0.313 feet. Let's see, another x component is right here, plus max is equal to zero. Okay, the y component we have t times 1.485 feet plus, and this 10 foot pounds, oh, this was a bad mistake. This should be, this should be a j here, not a k. Uh, it's in the negative y direction. Have I got that right? Yes, I think I do have that right. I don't think I have that right. Okay, something here is looking a bit goofy. Um, fortunately, I'm out of time, so in part three we'll figure out exactly what's looking goofy and continue onward.